Hey, I want to show you guys another little trick using solidify and bevel modifiers. So let's say that we want to have a belt or a strap around this object. Um, I'm just going to duplicate these faces and expand them a little bit like that. I'll remove the material for now. And I am going to also remove the um, subdiv modifier. And I'm going to add a solidify like that. There we go. And now if we subdiv, we see it's very smooth. We want it kind of to have sharp edges. So we would want to add a um, bevel modifier. And we can keep it at angle for this setup. And the offset we can also keep at... Um, we can also keep it at... Um, or the, the, the width method, we can also keep it at, at uh, offset. So we do it like this. And then uh, now if we subdiv, um, obviously we still have soft edges. You could solve that by making your your bevel sharper, but we want to have that kind of, kind of double bevel effect that I showed you in the previous video. So if you add another bevel, I'm going to press Shift W, and I'm going to... Again, keep it at um, angle, move it up, and now we get this nice sharp double bevel. There we go. How much is it set to two? I think we can keep it at one for now. Okay, so now we have something that looks interesting, and we can still we we have it solidify, and so I can bring it in a little bit closer here, and um, or I can also just do it using the offset like that and then uh, and still increase the thickness and obviously the mess around with the bevel as well um, so but th the issue that I have now th is that I have this this cool bevel on the outside which I like but I don't want it to be on the inside necessarily so the reason that I have it on the inside is that if I isolate this object is that it's basically what it's doing is it's um, if I disable all of this so here we have flat faces with, without any thickness then I'm adding thickness and then I'm adding this bevel but the bevel is set based on the angle and so the angle right now is 36 and this will go all the way to 90 and then it'll flip because this is a 90 degree angle so I'll put it at like 85 or something like that so uh, you could say well okay use um, use bevel weight and then only select these outer edges and you, you'll have your problem solved but if I do that I would have to apply the solidify modifier and I don't necessarily want to do that because I want to keep the ability to add thickness um, or t tweak the tweak it um, so how do we work around this? Um, one way to work around this is to go into Solidify and uh, disable or, or select only rim. And now you essentially have your result. But the problem you have now is obviously that you have this kind of weird sharp, um, yeah, just it, it ends and you, and you have the gap. And that's, that's not what you want necessarily either. So the trick that I found that I think is quite cool is if you add a second solidify modifier and you add it, I'm just going to disable all of these for now and I'm going to isolate my object. So I'm zooming in a bit. So in here, here we have our second solidify modifier and now you're adding uh, you're adding solidify to a mesh that was already solidified and you're giving it kind of that thickness um, and uh, so then what we want to do is maybe turn off fill, no we want to also do only rim and now we get this kind of effect which is pretty cool but of course if I enable the bevel angle I'm still having the same issue so what I would have to do now is move the second solidify modifier under the bevel angle and now we have our desired result so if i, I and i can keep it 
above the second bevel modifier because then I I get this edge pretty sharp as well. So if I add smooth uh, sub sub surface now, you see that we kind of have that the result that I'm after. So this is pretty cool, I think. Um, it allows you to have to to maintain your solidify modifier, giving you the freedom to adjust the thickness of your strap or your belt and at the same time uh, get around this problem where you can only bevel one side uh, or, or you can't bevel um, uh, discriminatively. Uh, so I thought this was pretty cool and obviously you can still now tweak uh, your individual bevels and uh, you can increase the, the, the gap here or you can close the gap more by adding more thickness and eventually I think you can you might be able to have it merge as well I think offset rim or no I don't think you can have it merge but I don't think this matters that much to have a little bit of a gap here or even an overlap um, because you, you won't see this area anyway right uh, so yeah that's that's pretty much it. I hope this is useful.